we have 15 white tulips and 85 red tulips. And we have to use all of them, not allowed to have any left over. Now, uh, I could just make a single bouquet that has 15 whites and 85 reds, but we want to maximize the number of bouquets that we can make. But hang on a second, take a look at these answer choices. Is it possible that we have three bouquets? How many white tulips would be in there? Five each, I guess. How many red tulips would be in there? Is 85 divisible by three? Well, the easiest way to check that is to add the digits of 85. Eight plus five is 13. 13 is not divisible by three, therefore 85 is not divisible by three. If you're not sure what I did there, check out another video I made about divisibility. I'll link to that in the comments below. What about eight? Could the number of bouquets be eight? How many white tulips would be in each bouquet? What's 15 divided by eight? That's not an integer. Could 10 be the answer? Could we have 10 bouquets? How many white tulips would be in each bouquet then? How many red tulips? That answer choice doesn't make sense either. What about 13? If you have 13 bouquets, how many white tulips go in each bouquet? None of these answer choices make sense except for one. So five must be the right answer. Now, what would we do if we didn't have answer choices? Let's explore that right after this. Well, remember we know that the ratio of white to red tulips is the same in every bouquet. And we also know that we have to use all of the tulips. Well, but that means that we know what that ratio is. The ratio in each bouquet will be the same as the overall ratio of all the tulips. So that's 15 to 85, white to red. And if you reduce that to the smallest integers that fit the ratio, we would remove a factor of five from there and we'd get a ratio of three to 17. I have another video where I explain why we should always reduce to the smallest integers that fit the ratio, and I'll link to that in the description below as well. Now, because there has to be an integer number of tulips in each bouquet, we know that the smallest numbers of flowers in a bouquet would have to be three white and 17 red, and that would mean that we can have how many bouquets at most? Five, it's that very factor that we pulled out of the ratio in the first place. This question was really just a very sneaky way of asking what's the greatest common factor of 15 and 85. Uh, and that's gonna give you the number of bouquets, the maximum number of bouquets you could possibly make knowing that you wanna keep the same ratio of white to red in each bouquet and you have to use all of the tulips that are available. If you like this approach, be sure to check out my book. It's all in there. What do you want me to talk about in my next video? Type it down in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video just for you. Make sure you're subscribed and click that little bell icon below so you don't miss any future videos. See you next time.